In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a certificate that you can give away when someone completes your online course or when someone completes a quiz. This will be specific to LearnDash, which just released a brand new certificate builder, and I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. If you don't have LearnDash, there's a link in the video description down below. Now, there's one thing that you're going to need before you start doing this. Well, actually, two things. You need LearnDash. Can't leave that one out but the other thing is a certificate background image and this is the image that we're going to be placing text on top of now you might not have that i don't want you to feel left out so if you lick look not lick i can't believe i just said lick i have a dog named lucky that licks his paws all the time but anyways that's beside the point if you look in the video description box down below there'll be a link that will take you to download this certificate background image. This is just in case you don't have one so that you can follow along. It's my gift to you. So here's my LearnDash website, my online course website. Uh, I forgot to mention if you don't have LearnDash, there's a link down below to that as well. And if you did purchase LearnDash through that link, I give you access for free to this course right here that says creating courses. And it's all about creating courses, the content that goes into your course. So let's go ahead and click on certificates and then we'll go ahead and create a brand new certificate. So I'll click the add new option here on the top right and let's go ahead and give this certificate a name. Now that I've done that, I'll just go ahead and click on the publish option right here. So now traditionally with LearnDash, when you wanted to create a certificate, we'd have to do it in this, what's called the classic editor. But the good news is there's a brand new way to do it, and that's using the certificate builder. Now, if you do not have this button here that says use certificate builder, here's how you get it you'll go ahead and click right here where it says add-ons in the left. That will take you to this page right here where you can see a list of the add-ons that are included when you purchased LearnDash. Now, if you don't see this option here that says LearnDash Certificate Builder, click on the check updates button and then it should appear. Then you'll just click on install now and then you'll click on activate. Then when you come back here, you can refresh the page and it should have this button here to use a certificate builder. So I'm gonna use the certificate builder. I'll go ahead and click on this button and it's gonna take us into a brand new interface using what's known as the Gutenberg block builder editor. Now, while this is cool, there are some things in here that we're not using because this is not a normal page or a post and I've got some icons here from the various plugins and tools I have installed on my website. All right, so the first thing we need to do is upload a certificate background and this is what I said was one of the requirements. So I'll go ahead and click on upload and upload it from my computer. So now that it's uploaded, we can see the image is in the background there. It's kind of hard to tell because the background has some white in it and just kind of blends in, but here on the left, it doesn't. So it might look a little odd on your site. And you can see right here, I can start entering in information. So I'm gonna show you how to get everything lined up just perfectly. But I did want to show you over here on the right, some of the options that you have available to you. So for me, I found that fixed viewport, when I toggled this off, it kind of stretched my certificate out perfectly and that worked out good for me. So you'll want to play with that. But you have your paper size options here and you have your layout orientation, whether it's portrait or landscape. So most certificates tend to be in landscape mode. So now we enter in our information in the certificate very easily using Gutenberg blocks. And so when I click here, you can see now I can click on the blue plus right here. And these are the bits and pieces that I can put in there. So here's some learn dash information. If we want to put the course name in or some information about the user, such as their name, we can also put the current date. We can put, I'm sorry, the completion date we can put in there. We can also put quiz information and I'll show you that. And we have some normal blocks that we can add, such as a paragraph, a heading, 
a list and a quote, an image right here, and then we can have more of a dynamic design with the column option. The separator can add sort of a line uh, to break up text, and the spacer we're going to use to position our text exactly where we'd kind of want it overlaid on the certificate background. And then we have the short code, which you might want to use. I'll tell you when you might want to use that. So, okay, so the very first thing that we're going to want at the top, obviously, I'm not going to want my text here. So I'm going to start with the spacer. So I can click on the plus and type space like this, and I'll go ahead and enter that in. And it just enters white space here that pushes the text and everything down. So what you can do is you can adjust the height of this. So I'm gonna put that there, but then we can tweak everything later by clicking on the spacer and adjusting the height. So that's probably where you're gonna to wanna to start. Uh, so then uh, right here, you can see I have my cursor there on the left. So I'll go ahead and enter in some text. There we go. I've entered in certificate of completion right here. So obviously this is not how we would want it. So I'm probably going to change the alignment and here's the option for that. I'll center it. And obviously it's so microscopic. We're going to have to make that a lot larger. So good thing over here to the right, we can enter in a custom font size. So let me see what 60 looks like. Yeah, that looks not bad at all. Now, if you want it to be bold, there's a bold option right here where I can just highlight what I want bold and click on that. And uh, there we have it. So it's actually looking quite nice. Now, if you wanted to put the word completion on its own line, um, you can just hit the enter key and there we go. We've got it right there and we can make these both larger or whatever, just to make the size of it fit what we're trying to do. So I'll go ahead and enter in a new line of text. I'll just hit the enter key and I'll put some more text here. There it is, I put presented to, and I'm also gonna center that. And I probably should make that larger, maybe like 25 or something, I don't know. That looks good to me. Uh, and then now I'm gonna put the person's name. So there's actually two ways of doing it. So one of them is using the block right here that says user meta. And that means all the information you have on the user. So I can also demonstrate how this is drag and drop. So I'm going to want to put it right underneath presented too. And then over here on the right, when I click on it, we have some options. So right here is what user meta information do I want to show? And I've got this drop down. So if I wanted to show the user nice name or display name, let's go ahead and put display name and see what it shows. Uh, there it is. It's got my name in there. And if you wanted to see this based on someone else's name, you could enter in their user ID. This is a number associated with their user account. So just like with the text bits here, we can center it like that. And there it is. And we can also increase the font size. So here I might want to have this also be maybe like 50 or something. Now you want to be careful because everyone has a different name length. So you don't want this to be so large that when it's generated for the user, it pushes their name to two lines. So you're going to want to be careful with that. Um, and then we have color settings here, and then we have the option of using a custom font. So we can go down here, and this is the font we have, and there's uh, several fonts here, but there is also the option to add your own custom fonts. Here I am back at the home screen for certificates, and there were some options here, and you can see one of them is fonts. And you could add custom fonts if you wanted. So if you wanted it to be kind of a strong cursive font, you have that option right here. So I think I'm just going to make this bold. Let's do that. And maybe I will choose a different font so it just looks a little different. Um, that looks quite all right with me, or we can do this, uh, whatever you want to do. Or if you wanted to add one of those custom fonts, that option is there for you as well. So next I want to show you the course info block here. And when I drag that over and then I click on it here, 
You can see right here, this is all the course info that we can choose. I'm sorry, it's getting cut off a little bit, but we can put the course name and here's the course completed on date. You might want that as well. We have some options here for quiz scores. And then we have some points options here listed out as well. So you can go ahead and enter that in if you wanted. Now, if you're making this certificate for a specific course, you could enter in the course ID right here if you wanted, and it will just pre-populate with that specific course name. But if you leave this blank, you can use this certificate with a number of courses. I'm just gonna show you how to find that course ID. It's super easy. So I want you to look here on the bottom left. You see where it's showing a URL down here when I start hovering over things? That is where that course ID is gonna be. You see in that long bit, it says towards the end, post equals 170. Well, that 170 is the course ID number. And each of these courses have a unique ID number. This one here happens to be 278. So I can take that course ID 278, enter it here, and you're gonna see now it actually shows the name of just that course. But if you leave it blank, this can automatically populate with the course name that the certificate is being issued for uh, very easily like that. And so lastly, I think I showed you everything. There's a group option here. There's the user meta, which we used as well. And the date for the completion of the course was found in the option here for the course info. Now, what's really neat is you can, you can preview it. So if I wanted to save this, I can just click right here. I'm gonna update, save my update. And when I click on preview, choose preview in a new tab. So it opens up in a brand new tab and I can see what I'm starting to put together. Uh, you can see it here, obviously I didn't do a lot of effort in making this look good. The point is, is that you can preview everything as you're doing it. So far you've learned how to create a very ugly certificate, but with a free certificate background that I'm giving you. Let me give you some tips and some advice on how to make beautiful certificates that people will be very happy to receive. So this is up to you if you want to do this. Uh, there are online websites, well, isn't every website online, that have different collections of images that you can use for free. Let me show you one of these right now. So here I am on free pick. This is freepick.com and I entered in the search phrase certificate backgrounds. And you can see a bunch of beautiful looking certificates and you can download any of these and use them completely for free. They look beautiful with the color, with the topography, everything. So my advice would be to hire a graphic designer to edit one of these. I can't imagine that costing you more than maybe 20 or $25 for their time because all they're going to do is change some text in this and give it to you, then, then you can take that and use it as a certificate background. And then when you're right here, all you're pretty much doing is lining up the person's name and perhaps the completion date. So you end up with a certificate that is much more beautiful, but also it just is using minimal text automation from here. We're just literally placing in the name. So wouldn't it be nice to have a beautiful certificate that looks like this? And all of this design work and everything is in the image. It's embedded in the image. So you would just have to line up the name right here. You would have to line up the name of the course, but if you had it embedded in the design, it wouldn't be so bad either unless you have like 100 courses. Um, you have to watch out if you're using dates like years. So this right here has the year 2020 in it. So you have to be careful about that. Uh, but you would just have to line up the date and you can put like a digital version of your signature if you wanted it in there. And as a matter of fact, 
maybe you don't even need the date in there. Uh, that's completely up to you. So now all that you have to use from the Learn Dash uh, certificate builder would be that block for the user's name. That's pretty much all there is to using this brand new certificate builder. I like how visual it is. The old version was a bit more challenging. And so I'm glad that they came out with this. And I like seeing plugins that do cool things with the block builder that comes by default with WordPress. If you don't have Learn Dash, I do have a link down below. I do have that course available as well. You, it's even purchasable. And what I do is I teach you how to create the content for the course. It's not necessarily a tutorial on Learn Dash. I already have those here on the channel. It's more about how to create the content and the map for your course and the content that you're creating for the course. It's a great course. It's helped a lot of people. So that information will also be down below in the video description box. Hey, thanks for the, watching this video. Can you give it a thumbs up? And if you have any questions, you can ask down below and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I'll see you in the next video.